Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little Sunday upload talking about the Future Stars market because we're actually in a crashing market right now because of what we talked about in yesterday's video. A lot of this market's uh, wealth has been sucked out from SBCs, player pick packs, the new Todibo SBC, the, the Curtis Jones SBC from yesterday. We want to talk about that and talk about where prices could go and especially what could happen in the next couple of days and some possible maybe buys or flips that you could still look into even though this market is dropping and just kind of talk about where everybody's focusing right now in the game and how that's going to affect the market because we had a new SBC that came out yesterday was the Todibo center back French SBC. We knew we were getting a French center back, right? EA told us we were and this was the card that we got, right? They went for a French center back in... The League One just transferred to Nice from Barcelona. This Todibo SPC, they upgraded his four-star skills from three three to four uh, in skill moves, which is kind of interesting. Medium high work rate, six foot three. And this guy's causing some market movements because coming in at about 200,000 coins, this SPC is in kind of a price range where it's affordable for a lot of people. That's, that's just very easily put. It's affordable for a lot of people. It's French. People are suckers for French center back SBCs. People that did Koscielny's flashback card earlier this year, they, like that, that SBC had a pretty high com completion percentage. This one is probably going to have even higher. Check this out. 207,000 coins for this Todibo, but take a look at some other center backs in the market and who he is replacing, right? Varane's gold card out of packs, by the way, with an inform in packs down literally 35,000 coins. He was 150 when he when he was announced in the team of the week on Wednesday, is now down to 115. He's down, dropped about 15K today. Big time drop on that card. Literally what that tells me is people are doing this Todibo and they're replacing their Varane with this card. Kempembe's inform that is in packs has dropped as well. This guy was like 260, 270. He was down in the 230 range. This first inform Kempembe was like 110. I sold one on Thursday for 110K. He's down to 77,000 coins. So you're seeing, especially Kempembe, drop a lot and Varane drop a lot because those are some of the most popular French center backs in the game. And they're getting replaced with a brand new item uh, that is that is brand new, that is an SBC, and that people are using in their squads because it's brand new, right? And it's a pretty good looking card, and it's not that expensive. That's why, again, a lot of people are doing it. Of course, we were hoping for possibly Fofana today. That didn't happen. But the rest of the market is showing what people are doing in this game. And again, that is just doing SBCs and dropping the price of a lot of cards on this game. There's a couple cards I'm gonna take a look at in general and also give my thoughts on them. Take a look at this Teo Hernandez headliner. This guy was 950,000 coins earlier this week. 950, he is now 800K, right? Some of these cards have dropped incredible amounts. And honestly, some of the cards that have dropped the most are icons. I've seen crazy, crazy drops on icons um, in the past couple of days. Honestly, the past two weeks, since we came out of Team of the Year, a lot of these icon cards, um, they got really, really inflated. And now they're dropping off a lot as well. A couple of cards that I was watching specifically, even this Canavaro was up to like 1.3 mil. He's down in like the 1.1 range now. Looks a bit rare at the moment. But I was watching some icons on the 59th minute today. I remember this right back Lam. Of course, right now he's not even selling at a million coins. Under a mil, this Lam card, he was selling over 1.15, 1.2 mil with the Boateng SBC after team of the year. You had guys like Prime Schweinsteiger who was selling at like 1.4. He's now down to like 1.1 flat almost. Uh, so big time drops on a lot of, lot of icons um, just because I think this market is getting... Um, it's getting depleted, right? That's the honestly the best way to put it since people are doing SBCs. SBC fodder is still crazy high. It's down a bit from where it was, but a lot of these cards are still very expensive, right? 86s, 27K, 88s, 50,000 coins almost a piece. 89s are 62K a piece. Now, of course, as we head out of this Future Stars promo, as the SBCs start to expire and as there's not as much hype, maybe for these top tier cards in FIFA, you might see some of these, uh, you know, high rated fodder cards drop a bit, but we need more supply for that to happen. But until then, there's good SBCs that are out in the SBC section. This stuff is probably going to hold its weight unless EA continues to drop supply. It dropped a little bit today. One way we can notice that is like Rooney is down uh, like a couple K. He's not that expensive. Uh, Curtis Jones is like 430 yesterday. He's 415 right now. So he's down a little bit. 
um, not a ton, but just a little bit. Now, of course, one thing that everybody's going to be doing probably this week is working on this objective, Renier card as well. And I think this is affecting a lot of the strikers on this game because people were using strikers. Now they can go sell that card and do this objective. So seriously, Brazil links, Dortmund links, um, they look pretty interesting to me uh, right now. And, and honestly, I think that's why you might see some strikers getting sold off a little bit because people are doing that striker card and it's a very good card. Now, I'm keeping an eye on this Holland because uh, Dortmund are obviously not on a win streak. We're not really looking for that. But uh, this guy is just really, really rare. He was just down to 500K flat. They lost or they drew today and he, his card got sold down to 500K. If I can find one of these right around the 500K flat range, this is a link to that new Renier card. Uh, and of course, the new Reina cards that are out um, in the game as well. So I like this Holland almost just because he's very, very rare. And that's the general kind of notion that I will give you guys to look for stuff that is rare. Uh, if you wanna buy some stuff that gets low today, look for stuff that is rare that could bounce around in price or also road to the finals. We'll talk about that too. But this Anthony Future Stars, 745. I just searched for eight under basically 800,000 coins for this card and there's only four of them on the market. I, this guy was 700K flat earlier. He got down to 700K earlier last night and then bounced all the way up to about uh, 850. So if I can snag this guy in the low 700s, I'm going to do that because this guy is so rare. Uh, same thing with Tapsoba, right? These brand new cards are what people are going to try out and spend the most coins on to, um, you know, try out and put on their teams. If I find this guy in like the low 700s again, I'm going to try to flip him because there's really not a lot of supply, even though it's going to be a Sunday today. And there's not as much hype for these cards. People are still going to try them out in weekend league. So definitely keep an eye on some of the future stars that are moving around, right? Ansu Fati got down to like 3.3 yesterday. I think right now he's like 3.2 or something like that. Um, you might see a bit of a bounce in this guy too, right? If you see 3.0 mil flat or something like that or 3.05, you know, maybe you see a bounce on this back to 3.4 at some point in the morning on Sunday today. You know, stuff like that could be happening. But the one thing I want to kind of show you guys and not, I'm not, I'm not trying to spark fear, but I'm just trying to create an awareness of the power that investors and traders have on this game. Because as we've seen before, if word gets around that the market is kind of crashing, you know, we have people on like myself on YouTube making videos that the market is crashing. What you will see is sometimes a lot of people take that advice, they misconstrue it, and they think that it's going to keep going lower and that this is you have to sell. And what they'll tell is these people will message their groups with thousands of people in them and they'll say, hey, yo, sell your cards. And there's seven, 8,000 people in some of these trading groups and they will be told to sell their cards. And we have crazy, crazy dips in short time periods with just unnatural and unrealistic panic selling. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but of course, when people start to use the words market crash and we know that um, there's a lot of cool cards out in this game right now. We possibly have new icon swaps coming this next Friday. Uh, new icon moments, right? Not sure what kind of promo EA would try to fit around that. I'm just saying be on the watch for crazy, crazy drop-offs on really rare cards because there could be a time and point where something just gets way too low and it's crazy low. And if it all happens in a span of like two to three hours and it drops a lot and it's just kind of like at a random time, that could be a pure sign of a lot of people just panic selling because they they are told it's going to go lower. They think it's going to go lower and they're just trying to get their coins, trying to get their cards out. So be very careful with that. Again, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I just have some sort of a, like a feeling that it could with all the stuff that's going on right now. And with, you know, so many, um, you know, people impact a lot of trading groups and a lot of traders and investors in general impact this market this year more than ever before so i just want to kind of put that out there as well one thing we are looking at is road to the finals because we have ucl and europa league games literally on the 16th and the 17th and 18th i think of this week right this week champions league and europa league is back so we're going to be watching these cards for sure if they are down like this bruno perez at 192 of course you want to take a look um, let's actually take a look at Europa League schedule. Let's take a look at who is playing in some of these games. Roma, of course, the Europa League cards do not get upgraded for the first leg. They don't get upgraded for the first leg. So you might honestly just want to focus on Champions League, uh, games this week because those, 
if a team wins in that first leg of the round of 16, they will get an upgrade, right? Those road to the final players will get upgrades. So you want to take a look. Like right now, we were just looking at road to the final team one. This Griezmann card is up a lot because Neymar is hurt for PSG. People are buying up this Griezmann because they think Barcelona are going to win. They won today in the league 5-1. They're feeling good. So that's why people are buying up this Griezmann, right? Take a look at some of these other cards. Leipzig, right? Leipzig are playing Liverpool, I believe. Liverpool kind of been sliding lately, right? Leipzig, they've been killing it. So, you know, watch a guy like Klosterman. Even, um, you know, some of these other... I don't know if there's another um, guy from that team. I forget if there's another guy from Leipzig or not that is in the Road to the Finals. Is there one from Road to the Finals set three from Leipzig? Am I blanking here? No, I don't think there is. Anyways, just watch some of these matchups, right? Look at the schedule. If some cards drop off today on Sunday from people selling their their weekend league teams. Like this Rebic guy fluctuates between 190 and 205 all the time. If you find him at 190, that's not a bad buy at all. All I'm saying is watch these RTTFs and low key, low key, watch these team of the group stage because people in FIFA still think that these are live items, okay? People still think that these are live items. Sevilla and Dortmund, right? I'm looking at Diego Carlos right now and I'm saying this guy is really low. Just be careful because all I'm saying is some people think these cards are live and they might kind of boost up. Whoa, Gomez is really cheap. 170, that's down a lot. But just kind of watch these cards because, you know, you maybe just see if they get really low, maybe put it on your transfer list. And people think these are live. So you might see them move midweek this next week. That's not a guarantee, but it is something that is possible. But again, if you're watching the panic selling on this game right now, one thing I do want to mention is this Todibo SBC is only out for five days, six days, right? So just like we saw with the Jerome Boateng SBC, I would expect some of the cards that got panic sold today, maybe a Kimpembe, actually almost guaranteed a Kimpembe, um, maybe the Varan a little bit. It's a gold card though. And if you saw other center backs that got sold off today, like Marquinhos, PSG, the honorable mention team of the year card, that guy was down to 158. He was 220 on the weekend, right? And this one is different because it's so rare. This guy had so little pack supply during team of the year. All of these cards are super duper rare. So if I saw this again, like in the low 160s, 164 right there, maybe if I can find one on a bid in the 150 range, I'd get interested, right? I would get very, very interested in some of these cards because I think they're just so rare and the links are so interesting with some of these. You know, you had that, um, you've got the Marquinhos CDM card that a lot of people use. But also people use that Bruno G player pick SBC, which I think is still available to do from the first day of Future Stars. Uh, and actually it might be gone by now, but that, a lot of people did that SBC. And of course, Brazilian links are OP. So um, watch a card like this. And if you see panic selling in other areas, 165 right there, I'm actually going to watch this one right here. See if I can snag it on a bid. But, you know, like Casemiro Freeze, that'd be another a center back card. If you're seeing very rare items, foot freeze, headliners, um, you know, some of those team of the year honorable mentions like we talked about, if you're seeing a lot of selling on these and undercuts, there's probably going to be still some of those cards that bounce back this week just because they're so rare. And especially look for links to that new Curtis Jones, right? If you see Robertson or this Fabinho card, Liverpool, of course, lost today. Whoa, 152? Uh, just keep an eye on some of these cards. This Fabinho was down to like 190k. He's been like 210 all weekend. I know it's not that OP of a card, but Brazil links again. And of course, the link to that new Curtis Jones. So just keep an eye on some of these rare card types, right? If you're looking at some of these team of the weeks, freeze cards are pretty rare. Even some of the future stars from team one, right? Uh, Subasly, 583. If this guy's back to 560, you might want to get interested. Dest, 340. Get interested, right? Bergwine, under a mil. Maybe start to get interested again because these cards are really rare. They're still hot. They're still hype. A lot of people are trying to use them. I know the market is going down, but I do think you will see more. You will still see fluctuations on rare cards and you will still see some prices bounce back after the weekend league. So definitely keep an eye on some of this stuff. Um, this Van Dyke card, right? If you see like a million coins flat for him, that might be a good deal. Donnarumma, like 160. He just got a price range update. And of course, with the new uh, Bastoni, Guy at center back, there's still some Serie A hype and some Serie A links there uh, that a lot of people are interested in. And, uh, you know, just keep a look at some of your really meta cards too, right? This Bruno Fernandez got panic sold a ton because of Curtis Jones. This guy was 700,000 coins and he dropped off on Friday to 600K. No, 
it was today, yesterday, 600K flat was this Bruno Fernandez, right? Uh, and he's dropped off a ton compared to some of his other items. Like this, this first inform is still 450 and this 90 rated card is still 860 and the headliner is still 2.1. So keep an eye on some of these like really, really meta players as well because there's still gonna be some room to possibly make some flips on those and possibly make some coins. So that's kind of what I'll say right now is yes, the market is going down. Yes, it's just because the people are, there's a lack of coins on this game after everybody has open packs and after everybody has done SBCs during the past couple weeks of this promo. So that's why you're seeing the market drop. And again, I'm not saying this is a point where you have to sell cards and stuff like that. Honestly, if you look at like some team of the years, this is like some of the cheapest prices we have seen on team of the years ever, ever, right? These cards have been out for a couple of weeks. And they were very expensive on that Monday after team of the week. And look at some of these prices as I'm bidding on this Fabinho right here. 179, bang. Uh, Bruno is 4 mil. Kimmich, these are lower prices than when these guys were at their low in packs. We were watching Nori at 480. He's 430. Van Dyke, 2.5. Davies, 1.8, right? Some of these cards are literally lower than they were in packs, which is crazy, crazy stuff for some of these team of the year cards. So honestly... Um, I didn't really expect these sort of drops, but it is an opportunity to possibly get involved with some of these if you wanted them for your team. Now, of course, this next week, probably some more SBCs coming out. Today for content on Sunday, the upgrade packs that we got last week, we got the 81 plus picks last week on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure what they will do today uh, because those packs don't expire until tomorrow on Monday. So maybe today they release more upgrade packs or maybe they do like an 85 plus double or maybe they just released another objective card or it's a non-tent day. I, I don't really have high hopes for today in FIFA to be completely honest with you uh, because I'm not sure what they, I don't think they'll do another player SBC three days in a row of player SBCs doesn't seem too likely. But the gist of the thing of the, of the, the point is, is that this market is tailing down right now because people are just losing coins. I don't think you have to have to sell cards if you necessarily don't want to all I'm saying is watch some cards that are getting too low, that are still too rare, that are very meta, that could still bounce around and fluctuate in price. Uh, like this Fabinho, I just got on bid here for 185. I'm probably going to be able to sell that for like 210 to 215, even tonight on a fluctuation because some of these headliners are very rare. And of course, increased demand for him because of that Curtis Jones SBC that a lot of people did do. So just kind of watch out for, again, open bids, the points right there. Um, it's a very great time to be on the open bids. It's also a great time to trade icons, right? People do crazy, crazy undercuts, especially with lightning rounds and panic selling. I bought this dog leash today for 1.3 low, flipped him for 1.447 as a fresh card. Uh, he was like one four high, almost one five for a part of the weekend, but I knew that he would still fluctuate. Icons always fluctuate and especially on Saturdays, they still have demand. So I was able to flip that card there, Mike make a little bit of profit on him. And again, just watch out for those, some of those investments that even from earlier team of the weeks that kind of went wrong. Like I'm honestly looking at team of the week 19. And if this Salah card, I know we have that um, Saka it's on the game right now, but this Salah is at 1.1. And I'm pretty sure there were multiple times this weekend where he got close to 1.2 mil. Uh, 1.75 Friday, he hit 1.49. Uh, so if you see this Salah get back to like 1.05, like I would expect you to be able to sell it at 1.13 or 1.14 next week just because it's Salah. And as long as um, this uh, Saka card stays extinct at 2 mil, um, you know, I do think that that is going to be a right mid spot in the Prem is still kind of dominated by Salah until that Saka is unextinct. So that's kind of the stuff we're looking at right now in the game. It is a market crash, boys. The stuff is dropping, but that, that's, that, that does not mean don't be afraid to trade. And I don't think you really have to sell a bunch of stuff either. If there are cards that you want to move out, you can. Does stuff go lower? I wouldn't be really afraid of stuff going that much lower uh, today on Sunday. Honestly, I think it'll kind of cool off and you'll, some, you'll see some of these prices equal out. Maybe some stuff goes lower if EA drops insane content, but I honestly, um, I'm not expecting that either. So I'm going to keep watching some of these future stars possibly see if I can flip some of them into the morning and make some coins on those if possible. But um, that's kind of the move right now, man. A lot of stuff is going down. Don't be scared to trade scared coins. Don't make coins, right? You can't make profit off scared coins. That's the one message I will give you guys. But again, there is a bit of a crash going on. 
do with it what you will. Check the cards in your team and just kind of real, just reevaluate what your goal is right now in FIFA. Do you want the coins or do you just want the players that you're having fun with in your team? Right? If you brought, bought Team of the Year and yeah, you're using, losing coins, but if you bought those cards to play with and you're having fun with them, then why not just hold on and, and keep playing with them and having fun? Right? So just kind of reevaluate where you're at. It's kind of like individualized per person as well. What you want to do with your team, if you do want to realize some of those coins, take some of those profits or losses, whatever it may be. And uh, if you do want to trade, I think we talked about some viable methods that you'll be able to do even with the market kind of crashing down at the moment as well. So that's the video today for today, boys, kind of explaining what's going on with the market. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate to Put Account, and catch you guys later. Peace out.